Bioshock game thoughts. I liked how at the very ending, near the very ending, you were, you know, being commanded by Aunt Ryan. You know, the whole, what is the, what is the difference between a man and a slave, you know, and I think that it would be cool if there was more of that in games, you know, having the player suddenly not be in control of their character or having them have to do something against their will. I think that's a very, very cool thing to explore. But I get the constraints in, you know, you couldn't make an entire game out of it. Unless you were very, very creative. And I do think that it does kind of work out. It's a bit clever with... Uh, didn't you notice how you did everything Atlas told you to just because he said, would you kindly, you know, and... I honestly didn't notice him saying that, because it's just kind of, that's how that character talks, you know. And it just, it makes sense, because of course you did all those things. It's a video game, those were objectives, otherwise you wouldn't have gotten to that point, you know. That was a bit clever. I do think that trying to get the player invested in the lead character whose silent, faceless, personality-less there at the end, it was just, it was too little, too, way too late. We didn't know anything about him before that point, just this idea that he was a pilot and he had a family and he was the only survivor from the plane crash. It just I don't know, it just really didn't work, I would say, and it's also kind of, it's that story where you think that it's going to be, ah, and then an outsider came into this closed society, and then it suddenly turns out, no, it was just, it was one of the people from that society, just there was some kind of misunderstanding he didn't know or something. I don't know, it's just such an easy twist. No, you thought you were a stranger, but really you are from here. And I just don't think it made any difference. I didn't feel particularly disappointed finding out that Atlas wasn't Atlas. I guess that the sub he wanted to get to Either he rigged it to blow so he could, you know, fire you up against Andrew Ryan, or Andrew Ryan did blow it up and Atlas, which is, who's really Fontaine, wanted to use it to get away from there or get to Andrew Ryan. I don't know. Something like that, I guess. I guess it makes good enough sense. the... I don't know, it just didn't seem to make much of a difference. Why should I care if it's Andrew Ryan or if it's Frank Fontaine running Rapture? I mean, th there at the very end it seemed like, yeah, okay, okay, he's killing you. Granted, but that's just kind of, you know, he didn't need you anymore and he didn't necessarily think of you as a human being because you were like a clone, you had been programmed. I don't know, I just don't see why that necessarily means that he's, you know, he could still be, you know, a proper ruler. I mean, one thing that does work in the game's favor, I got, I got the good ending. For anyone who doesn't know, basically that means that you know, you saved all the little sisters, I know, Boy Scout. And at the very end, they offer you the key to the city, and you refuse, and you let them go, and, you know, they get educations, they get married. 
and then, you know, you see the player dying of old age, you know, he's got like a tube in his arm, and, you know, the, the little sisters, now young women, and now not so abnormally, freakishly large, you know, put lovingly put their hands in his, and it's like, excuse me, it, it's like, you know, anti-individual, well, not quite, but just, no, not every man for himself, you need other people, and that is a great ending. I do think that that really, that's an important point to remember today with all these people thinking that, you know, if they're famous and or rich, they will be happy. Because you won't be. That just, that doesn't make you happy. Having people around you that you care about and that care about you and that you can help, that actually makes you happy. Feeling like you're helping others and doing something that really makes a positive change in other people's lives. But, yes, that ending, that makes sense, that works, you know, that is a kind of, you know, if you're going with the whole individualism and every man for himself kind of theme for the entire game, that ending does make sense. I don't know what the other two are. I just, I don't know, the... The point, I guess, is that just no matter who's running Rapture, it's a bad thing, I guess, but just, I don't know, it's always a bit iffy when a game, or a story in general, tells you that, you know, after you think that the entire thing has been about you know, getting justice, getting rid of this, you know, bad guy who's in charge of this place, then you find out, aha, the peop the person who was, you know, encouraging you to do so actually wants control for himself. And Yeah, I don't know. I didn't feel like I got to know neither Fontaine nor Ryan, and I don't really know if... Why should we care who runs Rapture. It's not threatening another community, and didn't the Splicers seem to have it pretty fine? I mean, they're just, they're kind of, they're in your way, sir, but other than that, you know, they fight you because, like, you enter their territory and, you know, Ryan sends you some, some, Ryan sends you some, you're away, whatever, and, you know, other characters do the same. I don't know, I just didn't really see why it needed to, I mean, are there splicers, are they procreating, will this, this society, you know, persist? I don't know, it just, I didn't really feel the weight of the importance of succeeding in this endeavor, you know. Not when I was up against Ryan, not when I was up against Fontaine. Why was Ryan so utterly ineffectual at killing you? Yes, he sends some splicers your way, but at one point he literally poisons a room that you're right outside of. Then you enter the room and the gas is gone. Why? Why? Why didn't he just keep gassing that room? Why didn't he wait until you were inside that room, then gas it? Were you, like, impervious to the gas? I don't remember that being mentioned, at least. The... The bit with the artist that had gone insane and, you know, wanted you to take pictures of these people that you were, you know, these splicers that you were killing. I don't know, it just didn't really have the impact that it should to me. It, 
I get why it's disturbing, but it just wasn't that unsettling to me. The also with the the guy with the piano again just wasn't that I don't know the the people that you find he's like you know the splicers that you find he's hidden in cast that was that was genuinely creepy you know where you like smack the cast and then a splicer comes out of there or near the very end where they're like playing dead you know they're pretending to be like zombies and then suddenly they get up and attack you that was also creepy I think the splicers inside the casts would have been more effective if they hadn't been splicers if they had been more sympathetic like you get there you know you smash it open but they're like already too far gone, they're dead, you know, you can't save them or something. I don't know, it just seems like, why am I even killing the splicers other than to survive? No, I just, I don't really see it. I don't remember where at the game it told me that the splicers were planning to go topside and, you know, invade other countries or something. Why? Or in general, where they just, they weren't a threat to anyone other than myself, the invader. And that just, I don't know. Maybe they should have just made more variants on the whole Big Daddy situation. Because that does work. That does make sense. You have to get to these little sisters, and thus you have to take out the Big Daddies in order to complete the game. And... You're a player, so you want to complete the game. So even though the big daddies don't bother you, you have to destroy them. That genuinely worked, you know. But the splicers, they're just, they're there. And I don't know. If, but if they had been part of some kind of integrated society, and you had to take some of them out, at least, or, you know, you had to upset their balance to get past these areas. That would really have worked, I'd say. I think that's going to be it for this video, so hope you enjoyed it.